your third eye is designed to see through any dimensional reality. This third eye chakra is a sacred space to view the unlimited reaches of creation, the eternalness of God's creation. It's not about fixating on a single dimension and putting a stake in the ground and, and thinking you know everything. My God, that's so ridiculous. It's a little mind blowing. When you open up your third eye, you realize that there's very little that you can actually put a stake into as like a, as a forever thing because creation is so fluid and so infinite. And so what are we really looking for in every dimensional reality? We're looking to see the light of Sophia, the light of God that is giving life to every dimensional reality. And we're also looking to see, oh, is this dimensional reality being governed by the source of all love or is it gone sideways? Or is it a dimensional reality that might be half and half? Or, and your third eye can help you discern the resonant quality of any dimensional reality and any dimensional being that's attempting to communicate with you. In fact, your third eye has the capacity to meet with any dimensional reality or any dimensional being up back at your source, back in the seventh plane. And it's from that space that you will be free from any of the laws or rules governing that particular lower dimensional reality. Every dimension is lower than the original source. It doesn't matter how high you go. And so you always want to go way, way, way back to the original source like we practice. Back to the presence of God that is not a face, it's not a person. It's the presence of unconditional love and omniscient divine intelligence. And your third eye knows it when we travel all the way through creation back to our original source point. Your third eye, your body, your heart, you can feel the tingles when we do our invocation. You can, you can feel how your body is excited to, to go back to where you are beyond the laws of all form. And so your third eye isn't limited to any dimension. And it, whenever you are looking at reality through your third eye, now notice that I'm closing my eyes when I do that. Because for most people, this helps you focus on the sight within that can perceive through any physical reality and any higher dimensional reality through the discernment of your higher self. This is what you're actually craving. You're actually craving. It's not what you think you're craving. People think, oh, I'm, I'm desperate to talk to the Pleiadians. It's like what you're actually really hoping for is to feel the presence of God within you and the vision of God within you that can see God within other beings that can see the source that's created everything. Like, you're really just interested in the fullness of God and Divine Mother's creation. It's not about fixating on a particular form. But, you know, when you're first starting out in spirituality, and especially when there's spiritual jargon out there trying to convince you to focus on specific manifestations of form as your salvation, it's like, it's, it's easy to get confused, but your third eye is not confused. Your third eye knows that what you're looking for is the power of God within you and the power of God in all of creation.